President Biden, in his efforts to deal with climate change, is not just thinking about it as an environmental issue, but an economic issue and an issue of global competitiveness as well. If you look at our trading partners, our, our competitors in the marketplace, they're also quite focused on reducing their own emissions. And we understand that this is something we all need to do to preserve the environment that we've come to know and, and love. And so I certainly view this as not just environmental imperative, but an economic imperative. We need to be making the products that we need here in the United States and that the rest of the world wants to buy. Um, we need to keep up with the world and we also need to um, reduce the damages that we could see from severe weather events and other impacts of climate change. And so it's better to think about the, the, the work that we're doing on climate less as spending and more as investment in our future as a competitive country and also having a livable environment. The net zero by 2035 goal for the power sector is ambitious, but it's also really exciting because the electricity sector is the easiest place to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Maybe not necessarily easy, but the easiest. If you think about renewable power that we all hear about, wind, solar, in addition to other low carbon sources like geothermal and nuclear, these all produce electricity. And so we see a pathway to getting um, greenhouse gas emissions out of the electricity sector. Um, something that we'll need to get this done, um, when we think about wind and solar, they produce power when the wind blows or the sun shines. And so we'll need ways to balance out that system so that we have power when it's needed, not just when it's windy or sunny. So that will involve backup resources that produce all the time, like maybe hydroelectric dams and other kinds of resources. It also will likely involve storage of power. Right now, power is generally generated and used at the same time. But if we can store it, that will really help us get a renewable system that is balanced and has power available when we need it. So this is gonna be a big investment. We're gonna be building power plants. Um, we're gonna be building transmission lines to move this power around. But it's a pathway that we can see. We understand how to make this change. And it's exciting to see us make the commitment to do it.